Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Moklover, and welcome to the Great War mod, or Great War Redux mod. And, of course, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, we're playing as a certain country, a certain Austria-Hungary, and without any historical AI focuses, and there's no path that you can really take for the nations, but let's jump right on in. Let's clear up a couple things first. So we got the Great War Redux mod, currently in beta at the time of this recording, we're using that. State Chancellor Tool Mod, Player Led Peace Conferences, uh, Colored Buttons, Colored Events, and I believe that's all the mods that we have for this campaign. So, we're playing Austria Hungary with, of course, a great leader, Franz Joseph, currently leading us in 1910s. Now, I decided to play this mod because at the time of this recording, I was watching ISP play this mod. I'm like, you know what? How about I come back to the Great War mod, or a Great War mod, and have a good time with it? So, here we are, my friends. So, let's split you up in half. Very good. Actually, let's not split you up in half first, you guys. Uh, looking okay, because we have you who needs to come down here, and of course, in any good Hoi 4 uh, campaign, go need a few Coast Guards. There we go. Let's sign this guy, sign this division a dude to defend Victor. Victor, you shall do great. And just like the beginning of any campaign, we shall establish a good Coast Guard. Oh, only need four divisions. Focus time. So, this is a focus tree. It's not huge, but then... That's okay. It's not. It's really not huge. That's, that's pretty much it. But, let us begin with the integration of Bosnia. My goal is a beeline through this right side first. And see what happens. I'm going to ignore probably the land doctrine and stuff, but you'll see as time goes on. But, integration of Bosnia in 35 days with a great description of oh, integration of Bosnia desk. I get even a core on Bosnia. Right now, Bosnia, the condominium of Bosnia Herzegovina. Ah, uh, and look at that. Before we do anything else, now that's a nice central powers. Even Russia's in the Entente, which is a little, a little frightening. Got, not gonna lie. But let's get some research. We only have three research slots. The research tree is a little bit different than regular vanilla Hoi Four, but it's not that, not really that different. So let's do that, and then we'll get. That's a little bit ahead of time. We're going to go ahead and grab uh, maybe the next land auction. This is a little bit different. We have technical excellence instead of mobile warfare. We have numerical excellence instead of mass assault. And we still have superior firepower and grand battle plan. So we're probably just going to stick with superior firepower. But I want to make sure that we start producing an okayish navy first before we do our land auction because we're not going to go to war just yet. So we're getting some artillery. We have also a second set of artillery as well, which has 28 soft attack. This has 20, this has 4 breakthrough and 10 defense, while this only has 3 defense and 2 breakthrough, so I'm really not about really using that. We do have some armored cars, which sounds like fun. There's only one armor, which is okay, but I want to get some planes and some of you guys. We're going to need a lot of infantry. Let me tell you what, we're going to need a lot of infantry equipment where we're going. Let's go ahead and build up a few things here, such as civilian factories. 50, 50, 60. Didn't want to miss that. Very good. Let's make some divisions. Upgrades go low. Garrisons go high. We're going to need like two Coast Guard divisions at a time. These infantry divisions, they're only 12 combat width, which isn't ideal, but they do have engineers, which is awesome. And then artillery, which is also good as well. We're going to need a lot where we're going, and we don't want to forget about ships, which we can't make any. With no naval XP, that's going to be a little bit of a problem, but I have a solution for that. Regardless, Let's put you guys up in half now, and put you together right here. Field Marshal under Conrad von Hutzendorf, just because, well, he already gets a little bit more attack. And he's he's pretty good on attack, actually. He's pretty good on attack. He likes to attack, attack, attack. Commander, you should be led by Rudolf von Steinstatten. And Karl von Flanser Balten. Yes. Muy bueno. Hmm... And some cavalry led by Zvetozar von Bojna. I'm probably I might be saying that right. I might be saying that wrong. But regardless, so who are we gonna put these guys by? We'll put you around Serbia because everyone loves the Serbs. Oops, hold on. That was a bad drawing. There we go. Let's speed time up a little bit. Put you next to the Russians and then watch as Germany might break our alliance with them because this is. A historical. You never know what might happen. And put you guys near uh, Montenegro and let you guys train. Thank you. If anyone needs training, there you go. And now there you go. So let's begin. 
It only took us about five minutes to do that, but that's basically any Hoi for campaign. Wait. I have planes! I don't remember I even had airships in... Okay. Cool. Awesome. I don't want to train them yet because I don't want to lose the entire group yet. We don't have that many factories. We only have 42 factories in total. So, really, the goal is to... In 1910. Build, build, build. And we have actually quite a few negative national spirits, such as... Well, House of, House of Work, Loch Lorraine, is actually pretty good. But Hungarian opposition? Oh, that hurts. We only get 0 .07 political power a day. Oh, it's so bad. Czech Parliament. We get less consumer goods, and we lose stability. No one likes that. We have ter literal terrorists in the South Slavic states. Oh, South Africa Act. Oh, okay, cool. And then we have Polish separatism. I mean, Austria-Hungary. We are having troubles, troubles, troubles. Hey, but at least we got Bosnia. They will never cause any sort of problems, and they're even... Well, an occupied state, but they'll be our core soon. But let's strengthen our dualism. Another great description. Oh, dualism desk. Hey, good political power, which is actually very useful. Since, uh, this ain't very much political power. But we do have to watch out for Germany, because this is a historical. Going Weltpolitik, instead of containing the Kaiser, which is, actually, Weltpolitik is historical. But, they might backstab us, which, that wouldn't be very good for us. We might as well fight Serbia, the Russians, Romanians, and Germans all at the same time. That potentially could happen, and I hope that they don't go with backstab. I hope not. I hope they go with support Austrian claims, but then again, that would be a little bit too historical. Let's see what happens. Now, at the time of this recording, like I said, this mod is still in beta, so not everything's going to be perfect and fully fleshed out and full of glitches and stuff, but we'll see what happens as the campaign goes on. These guys are led by Asquith. Asquith. Cool. And they're doing support the Russian Empire. Pretty normal. We'll see what happens. Italy, what are you up to? Assercito Real. Oh! King Ferdinand up in an airplane. So, Ferdinand of Bulgaria today established the record of being the first monarch to go aloft in a heavier-than-air machine when he went for a flight in a biplane with M. Delamine at the Cerodome or Aerodome at Kiwiet. Prince Boris, the heir apparent to the Bulgarian throne, and Prince Cyril, the king's second son, also flew. King Ferdinand was highly enthusiastic over the flight and declared that he would install an aerodome in Bulgaria. As a mark of his appreciation, he decorated M. Delamine with the Order of St. Alexander. Ah, how great. And let's see, Italy, Colonial Ambition. So they can choose... Oh, Japan, Korea, Annexation Treaty, cool. They can choose a fascist movement, which is basically proto-fascism. Not fascism, yes, yeah, only 1910. Or support the socialist movement. They have no in-between, I guess. Either fascism and pre-fascism. Or socialism. Protect Hungarian communists. Interesting. Maybe it would just excuse me for one moment. All right, then. Uh, let's see. Actually, we are all trained up. 2.79 political power. That's not bad. We have a slight deficit of 15,000 guns. That's not too bad. You know, not too bad. But we just strengthened dualism, which is a great, great thing. Now, we could do a Vereinigungsstaaten, which means we would basically lose Austria-Hungary proper. We would lose, and or at least release and puppet Croatia. Probably Bosnia. Hungary. Uh, Galicia, Lodomeria. Czech Republic, or the Czechs, and the Slovaks. But if you go down this way, and I ain't about that. We're going to go with National Question. Another great focus description. We get some more war support, and we get a dude that gives us less damage to garrisons, which I'm probably not even going to use. And that's okay. So right now, our goal, like I said, focus heavily on artillery and guns. You know, planes are actually pretty important, too. But really, the real focus here is civilian factories. Because right now, oh, we got some shippies. Very nice, very nice. I love the shippies. We could probably use some batteries. Well, we do. We'll put one at a time on there. And we're gonna go with dispersed industry, which only gets us five percent factory output compared to the ten percent of concentrated industry. And actually, we go until 1920. Huh? Yeah, I'll do dispersed because we like dispersed. Uh, what was I gonna say? I forget. What's gonna say? Russia. What was it? Russia. Convene the Fourth State Duma. Oh, they're allied with the French, of course. Only the French. Oh. So. Okay, so the Entente is the French. Oh, anti Ottoman policy. Okay. Uh, what are you guys doing? Support the Russian Empire. Place under the sun. Okay, okay. Anti Ottoman policy. Hmm. Now, France, why do you want an anti Ottoman policy? Oh, you got claims. Oh, okay. Claim on Lebanon and Damascus. Report Romanian claims. 
help the Serbian nation. Oh, we don't like that at all, do we? Oh, look at that. Oh, political power. But luckily, we do have House of Habsburg Lorraine, which lets us get more political power. Or no, it gives us an advisor for cheaper, basically. That's what it is. Which I do have a plan of what I'm going to spend it on first. All right, we're done with that. We can wait on that. Over here, we can wait a little bit on that too. Artillery. We can get an upgrade on artillery. I think that's worthwhile. So, with this, political advisors, popular figurehead would look really good for more stability. Uh, that looks pretty good. I mean, a lot of these look really good, but I know people don't like it sometimes when I choose this. But I want as much political power as I can get right now. We have a revolution in Portugal, which is cool. Monarchs need to be careful. I want more political power because 0.07, it ain't much. But where we're going to end up with that 15% is actually not too bad. And we get to keep him in the entire game, so. Also, we can get Sigmund Freud as an advisor. He only gives us 5% more stability compared to Gabor over here. And he's more expensive, so I don't know why you would ever want to get Sigmund, but whatever. Whatever. National question, more war support. Now, we can ban Slovenian parties, or we can probably integrate them. Now we get more war support and manpower and guns, or we get just stability. Let's ban some parties. Ah, I love it. We're going to be really quite the authoritarian type of uh, group here. And yet, yeah, we also have proto-fascist over here, led by Heinz Stotz. Victor Adler for the Communist Party and the Democratic Arts, Karl Seitzer. I always want to keep an eye on what these countries around me are doing because I really don't trust anyone around here. Oh, basically, happy batteries, support France. Oh, why are you going historical, son? I don't like that. I said a historical, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Turn to Asia. Karl, Kaiser, Kaiser Wilhelm, please. Unity. I said go a historical, guys. Dude, like, what the heck? I'm pretty sure it was on a historical when I selected this. The Centrist Duma, Unity with the Entente, Son, uh, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. What's the U.S. doing? Oh, hold on. Before we do that, let's go ahead and grab you. Now we get 0.37. We get 0.3 more political power a day by choosing this dude. We're going to keep the entire game, so I think that's worth it. The United States is led by Taft, which is someone I don't ever remember in history too well, but yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's a pair. He was a president. He was a president. Revolution in Mexico, which we kind of know about. No free elections, free suffrage, and no re-election. Declare the Diaz presidency illegal and cause for revolt. And Mexico's going to fall into civil war, and there's going to eventually be a border war between the U.S. and Mexico eventually. And Pancho Villa is going to show up, and no one knows about Slovenians anymore. Good. Now we can suppress orthodox minorities. Or we can dissolve the Czech parliament. No, Czech parliament. Uh, hurts our stability. And consumer goods. Or we can modify the Polish separatism, which is for stability. Uh, I'm going to go with dissolve the Czech parliament. So, another great description. A uh, casual 70 days. We're just blazing through this as fast as we can because it's going to take a while for us to get to war, which I might actually have to use console commands to get into a conflict just because it's we're on a historical. So, does Greece have a focus tree? It doesn't look like it. Led by George. No, it looks kind of generic. Yeah, it looks pretty generic though. Turreted second battery, very good, very good, very good. Next up, we shall do uh, land auction would be pretty important. Get some motorized. There we go. Forty-seven factories, nice. We're still building some more stuff. Uh, I ooh. if France and Russia and the UK are going his basically historical at the moment, for the love of God, Germany, please go historical in this ahistorical game, because if they go with backstab, they force us. To have minus 25% naval speed and 25% more consumer goods factories cost. That's a lot. 25%. I mean, that's I mean, that's just a lot. I mean, holy cow. That's that's a big debuff to us, which mm, which would not be very good. Next up, we're going to grab this. And let's go and start doing our land doctrine, which they did change the land doctrines around a little bit. Uh, we're going to go with infantry defense, which is pretty normal for me to do. We have tank offensive support. Now they do have fire cover, so more land artillery attack, more defense, uh, more tank and armor variants, a hard attack and organization, or integrated support, which, which I'll probably go through because you get more light infantry breakthrough, land night attack, and then soft attack, organization for support companies, and planning speed. Now, technical excellence seems really fun. Ooh, cavalry gets more breakthrough, huh? Entrenchment speed and max entrenchment, defense, armored raids. Actually, that looks pretty good, huh? Armored raids. That's not bad. Infantry support looks pretty good too. Plus 0.2 recovery rate. That's not bad. And then mobile support, which is something we're probably familiar with. Trench assault looks not too bad. 
Chemical Warfare looks pretty darn good. Tank Warfare, more breakthrough, stuff like that. And then there's also this, this side, Infantry Infiltration, less supply consumption, more soft attack and hard attack. On top of more land night attack, that looks really, really awesome. But we're not going to go down that path. Maybe someday. Anyways, next up we are going to do... Well, we can't do this because we need more stability. So we're going to suppress a couple people. This will infuriate Russia if it is a defender of orthodoxy. Change the Polish idea. Oh, I love it. And actually, we got to keep an eye on this. So we need... Ooh, France occupied Fez. I guess it's Morocco. This will provoke a crisis. Dissolve all stream parliament, we need 50% stability, but here we need at least half a million manpower in the field, and then to crush the Serbian terrorists, we need at least three quarters of a million manpower as well. So we gotta keep that in mind as we go on. Currently, our current deployed forces are only less than a third of a million manpower, 300,000. It ain't much, but it is what it is. We're barely getting any political power, but you know, it's better than nothing. It's definitely better than nothing. Oh, I thought Portugal was in a revolution. Hey, I guess they're done, though. Good. Nice job, Portugal. Nice job. Let's see. Kingdom of Spain. The French occupied Fez. So they're not, they don't like that. Italy declared war on the Ottomans. Italian invasion of Libya. An ultimatum was presented to the Ottoman government. The, through Austrian intermediation, the Austrians, or Ottomans, replied with a proposal of transferring control of Libya without war, maintaining a formal Ottoman suzerainty. The Italians refused, and now war is declared. A war for a piece of sand. I really couldn't put it any better than that. Now oh, you're... Oh, let's see. Oh, how many ships is, do the Ottomans have? We have none. Like, I'm not even going to check right now. We have zero. And it, it's kind of garbo. Oh, you have a few... Bet on Dreadnoughts. Battleships. Destroyers. Well, better than me. Much better than me. Ah, oh, Coast Guard's good. And, oh, I forgot about to train you guys. Ah, oh, suppression. Minorities. I love it. What's more iconic? I love that. Let's see. Cool. Infantry divisions. No. You guys. Come right there. Very good. Dalmatia. You guys come right on the port. Alright. Next focus. Ban the Croatian Constitution. Ugh, another great description. More stability. Less training time. Perfect. And like I said, I'm trying to bl blaze through this as fast as possible so we can get to war quickly. Early support weapons look very bueno. Next up, though. We can keep doing some ship stuff. We might get some subbies. Or a great battleship hull. It might be best to do subbies, just in case. We already have these, the cruisers and destroyers unlocked, so we're kind of okay. There's not a whole lot you can research, but it is 1911, which is kind of cool. But uh, there's not much that we can really do right now. Of course, we will be waiting for a great Balkan war to occur here. But it should be a little bit of fun. Unfortunately, we probably won't be able to get involved because world tension has to be quite a bit higher. So, and this is a disgusting Libya. Look how dis. Oh, why? Why is Fizan looking like? Ah, oh, it's disgusting. Oh, you hurt me. My eyes feel hurt. And we're gonna lock Mountaineers right now since we already have them. But I cannot edit these divisions. It is, as some might say. Oh, Machu Picchu was discovered. Unfortunate. Yeah, armored cars, mobile. So there's not really much I can do there. So, it is what it is. Guns. We're doing well in artillery. Infantry equipment, we just got through another 5,000 deficit of infantry equipment. It took us like a year. Infantry support equipment is going coming along. Fighters are coming along. Airships are coming along. We need some more resources. We definitely need more rubber. We definitely need more tungsten, but overall, I think we're doing okay. We're doing okay for now, but we need more guns. Go and do that. There you go. That'll help production. <sighs> a division immediately. But I'm not going to put it on the guys that we already have because... You never know what the Romanians might be up to. You never know. And next we shall do Influence in the Balkans. Ugh, I love Influence in the Balkans because I want... I'm going down this path so we can get rid of the fight against Serbian terrorism. It's just... Terrorism doesn't sound like a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. It really doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Stopin survives assassination attempt. Oh. Is the Central City Hospital? Oh boy. Oh boy. Build, 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 my friends. Uh, and let's improve working conditions so we get some more stability right now. We need more, 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 more stability. I'm trying to maximize that as, as much as possible because stability is really, really helpful. Let's see, what type of general are we going to put on this dude? Edward? Mm. We have Franz Salvatore because he's a career officer. Cool. And for now, we're just going to put you right. Not there. 
Mona Lisa has been stolen. Last night, a thief has stolen the famous Mona Lisa from the Louvre. This morning, Louis uh, Baroud walked into the Salon Carré portion of the museum where the Mona Lisa has been on display for five years, only to find four iron pegs on the wall. Local guards claim the art, the art was being photographed, which turned out to be untrue. It's currently, the museum is closed for investigation. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Deck conversions, huh? Hmm. What do we want? It's only it's not that far ahead of time. That's pretty far ahead. That's pretty far ahead. This stuff can wait. Engineering stuff. I really want to do this. Uh, go ahead and do it. Why not? 0.51. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. All right. What are the neighboring countries doing right now? Mo Modern locomotive series. Okay. Well, whatever. Guaranteeing the independence of Romania and Serbia. Fan Prussian militarism. Well, have they? They haven't. They haven't done either one, so they have to do this one first. That looks like a pretty good buff to them. Not bad. France, you are supporting the UK, of course, because on a historical, you want to go historical. Hmm, disappointing. Support huh. and UK, your democratism. That seems this seems very historical. Oh, why can't you go syndicalism? That seems like a, like a lot more fun. With the proletarian revolution, come on, man, come on, release countries. Huh, release the Irish Republic. Influence in the Balkans. Good, good, good. And now we can dissolve the Austrian Parliament and get more popularity of authority. Very cool. We didn't need Parliament. The Balkan League. Russia is ready to protect the Balkan Balkans. It would defend its interests, and the Balkans is not going to betray its Orthodox Brotherhood. The threat of war with Russia did not disappear, but her statement alarmed the Russian government. These Russians are stubborn. The League is formed. And there is a Balkan League with Bulgaria, Serbia, Greece. Are the Ottomans still fighting these guys? Fighting some Italian boys? Ooh. Oh yeah, Albania doesn't exist for n n now. Why does Serbia have a claim on Albania? Is that historical? That might be historical. And... Ah, the Zinhai Revolution. This had better not affect the price of tea. Ah, small revolution in China. Oh, the Germans are up here. Oh yeah. Qing Dao? Qing Dao? Well, technically, where's my province? Because I, if I re remember my history correctly... Oh, there they go. There War in the Balkans. Powder keg has exploded. I owned one house. Austria-Hungary owned one, like, house here in Qingdao. Oh, God. What happened to that one province? It became many provinces. Ah, China. Always <sighs> explosive. Love it. Cool. Can we do anything here? Nope. Tanks? Nope. Land auction? Well, we're doing that. Hmm... Go and get a great battleship, I guess. Republic of China. Wow, I would hate to be these divisions. Oh, hey, hey, look. Ooh, so that's where Wuhan is. Hello, Wuhan. You'll never have problems. Ottomans, they're probably not having a good time, to be honest with you. They're probably not having a good time at all. Yeah, we wanted to do improved work conditions as fast as possible so we can get that event again. So we can use it again. Because that's very, very important. Guns looking great. Artillery is looking not too bad. I wish we could get into conflict a little sooner. South Pole was reached by Roald Amundsen and four others. Oh, well, good for them. Now we have to get more manpower so we can improve relations with the Germans. We want to ban elections in Hungary, so we need more stability. So, we can't do anything at the moment, really. We can get more manpower soon, but not yet. I'm going to do this, though. The Kriegsmarine, because we need that naval XP. We need it to start building up a navy. It's 19... It's almost 1912. And by the time the war breaks out, I want to maybe have one ship at least. Maybe? We'll see what happens, of course. Go ahead and train, guys. Train until you're all super, super experienced. That would be great. Only 10,000 guns missing, that's all. 400-some support equipment, that's all. Not even concerned about that. We're just building up tons of civilian factories. Oh, looks... Oh, actually, subs will be very useful for training. Yeah, we'll probably build up that sub. We probably will. Good. Now, Germany, which way are you going? No, not the backstab. Why? Why, Germany? Why? Everyone else is going historical, but you. Why? Now we've got trench warfare, which means we're going to have to really focus on uh, making sure that we got enough divisions and 
resources everywhere, so they, we break the alliance. They refuse to ex extend a military alliance with the Austrian Empire. Due to the growing contradiction between Italy and Austria, the bloc of the Central Powers was on the verge of collapse. However, German diplomats still have hope for cooperation with Italy, as there is no conf confrontations between these countries yet. Did the German Empire find a new enemy? Yes. You pieces of garbage. You Germans. Why? 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 Uh, let's get a new field marshal, too. Uh, Straussenberg. It's not bad. Let's get Straussenberg. I could do Kaiser Karl, I think, but... Uh, yeah, I could do Karl, but he's politically connected. I don't. I really don't like that, so... Arthur? There you are. Get that. I could do Defensive Doctrine, but nah. Nah. For the love of God, Russia. This is going to be... Mm, Prepare for war. I mean, if you want to kill off Germany, go right ahead. Get Alsace Lorraine back. Yeah, go right ahead. I mean, I will beat the snot out of Germany with you, France. Like, I'm going to be like a good person. No one's going to get sniped here because we're trying to avoid or get rid of the terrorists down in Serbia. But that's just me. Actually, how much manpower do we have deployed currently? We're close, but not not that close. Even after I deployed all that stuff. So, in the meantime, we're going to develop our industries. We could develop this stuff, but. Let's do the urbanization of Cisleithania. Good. We get a bonus research for something here. Something. So we'll see what we'll see what that something is. I have no idea. We can ban communism. We could ban a lot of things. It is 1912. As we're blazing through this as fast as possible, early mobilization. It's probably worth going to partial mobilization because to get to war economy, you have to be at war or proto-fascist and communist, and we're not going to be either one for quite a while. So. Partial mobilization will help give us more factories, which we're going to need, more fuel, which we're going to need, and faster production on factories in general, especially military factories. Great War Battleship. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. That looks really good. Uh, what's next? Research this stuff. Good. Push in as fast as possible. 65% stability. Not too bad. Yeah, i got to remove that. Exploitation of the Galician region. Very nice. Also, because they did that, they're going with OHL authority. What is that? Modify general staff. Less data political power. Oh, that's not too bad. We really got to keep an eye on when they're going to isolate the Adriatic Sea, which, oh, like I said, it's going to really hurt us. Woo! Hey. But we do have 10 naval XP, which is phenomenal. Let's go ahead and not do this. Uh, since we have that, we probably don't need early dreadnought holes. Cruisers are okay. We don't... Eh, let's get rid of that. There we go. You already have an engine, so this will be okay. Torpedo tubes. Torpedo tubes. This is not a very good ship, so we're only going to make one. Bye bye. Ah, oh, good. We can only get 0.56 political power a day. Not bad. I could. Oh. Oh. I want more stability, but we're going to probably do this first. Let's get partial mobilization, and then when we get enough political power again, we're going to get more stability after that. That'll work. That should work out okay. It should. It's only 1912. What do we want? Someone tells me field hospitals probably would be pretty good to get. You guys are still training. The Titanic arrived in New York! So, completed a first voyage in less than six days. It passed from Scott British Southampton through Cherbourg in the North Atlantic Ocean. Ah. The White Star Company has already announced a new era of transatlantic passenger traffic in which one of the largest Olympic class ships will be used at the moment. Ah, there we go. Good. Let's go ahead and go here. Good. I need as many factories as possible. Like, we need to be barreling through stuff quickly. Go ahead and do that. Now, it's 1912. It's April 1912. I'm going to be doing one and then another one. One civilian factory and then one military factory. Just to make sure we keep up with production and that we're continually growing as a nation. And I'm going to be completely ignoring... Oh, the Olympic Games. Nice. And... Oh. New events that will be included this year in the Olympic Games include art competitions, the decathlon, and even some of the first physical events for women. Will we attend the ceremonies? Uh, God, I hope so. I really hope so. The Treaty of London. The Balkan League took advantage of the crisis... Uh, the Ottomans forced him to, con to concede some territories. It's a victory for the Balkan League. Cool. Since we're still waiting for that, and we have this. Dock in Dalmatia. That's okay. And we're not really a naval power. And we should probably do this. Get more army XP and stuff. But let's go ahead and do development of the Illyrian region. Four more civilian factories for us. Hurrah, hurrah. And do we have a ship yet? It appears not. We have a ship in 1912, but September 23rd, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah. It's just going to take us a while to get to where we need to be. It is. We did start in 1910. And, oh, hey! 
The Republic of China annexed the Republic of China. With the end of the Xinhai Revolution, and the Republic of China was born. Is this the correct... Ah, Sun Yat-sen! I know very little about him, but both of our modern days Chinas, People's Republic, Regular Republic, they both look to Sun Yat-sen as their leader. Kind of cool. Alright, so, what do we need? We need guns. We need guns, lots and lots of guns, tons of support equipment, which actually I'm going to do that. Some fighters, some bombers. We're going to need a lot of things, man. It's only 1912. We have a max of 12 military factories. Second Bjork Agreement. I don't like that. I really don't. Because Germany has up to 47. France has up to 14, so that's, we're pretty balanced against each other. Britain has 26, which isn't too much ahead of us. And then you guys have 22, 28. So we are looking at a very, very powerful enemy on all fronts, almost. Oh, I like this, though. Anti-German policy, though. That's very nice. You know what? If we end up in a war with the Central Power, since no one wants to be our friend, uh, you know what? Maybe we could take advantage of that. Maybe we could unite all the German peoples under the banner of Austria-Hungary. And maybe get a few nibbles here in Austria and Italy. In Italy, too. That sounds actually like a ton of fun. So we'll probably end up doing that. We'll see what happens, of course, but you never know. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Very good. And development of the Illyrian region. Good. Let's go ahead and do development of Vienna. So, another good description. We have four more civilian factories, which is going to be great, great, great for production. Just phenomenal. How many planes we got? And that's not a lot of planes. The amount that we really need is a little bit more... Actually, airships are okay. Actually, airships, they're not really that useful. Because airships, they can't even do ground attack. They can do strategic bombing, so they can destroy enemies, other enemies' airships and planes. And Emperor Meiji is dead. He suffered from diabetes, diabetes, nephritis, and gastroenteritis. Dead of uremia. Wow. I'm sorry about that, dude. That does not sound fun. <laughs> can't believe I said diabetes. Diabetes. How are you guys still fighting? What the heck? So, the Balkan League beat the Ottomans quicker than Italy could beat the Ottomans. Just, good job, Italy. I can't wait for war against you, man. Can't wait. And there goes the Second Balkan War. Ah, oh, here we go again. Mm, mm. Good luck, Bulgaria. Just wait until the Ottomans come back and bite you in the butt. Well, actually, they're still fighting these guys, so hopefully they peace out. And it's August. We'll so soon have a sub. And there they go. Ottoman Empire joined the Second Balkan War, as well as a Romanian intervention. I would hate to be a Bulgarian right now. Maybe they could use an alliance. And, oh, the Treaty of Bucharest, peace at last. That is a very sad Bulgaria, but I'm surprised that the Greeks did not get Central Thrace. That, they do have claims on that. Yeah, Bulgaria has claims on, all, on a lot of this territory. Ah, field hospitals, very good, very good. September 13th, logistics would be nice. We might need military police, so we might also do that before we really need to research other things. Ghost Guards, you have some people that could train. We should have some naval ship here soon enough. September 23rd in five days, we will have that. Good, 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 good. Development of Vienna. Skoda Works, well, since we can't do this yet, which I'm totally okay with, let's get some military factories. Skoda Works, great thing from the Czechs. Great, great, great. And there we go, let's go ahead and grab you so we don't waste any time. You guys, we're going to let you train. You can detach yourself if, you, if possible. And give us a ton of naval XP. 0.3 a day in 1912. Amazing. Right now, we've got three choices. Admiral Anton Haus, or Ironside Experience Factor, which is okay. Hermann von Spaun, which is okay, not great. Gentlemanly. And Miklos Horthy, who I've never heard of before and never seen in any other mods for Hoi 4, or even base game. Uh, alongside part of the fleet and positioning. I like Horthy. There we go. So, I'm glad we have that. And how long does it take for the ship to repair? Oh, look, it's so fast. It's so quick. Look at that. Look at that naval XP. You know what? I'm going to head and upgrade you. Can you get an upgrade real quick? It's only 10 days. That's it. Just 10 days. We're just a slightly better engine. Um, go and do that. There you go. There you go. Very good. We're setting ourselves up for, I would say, quite a bit of success. You know what? That's okay. Just let it go like that for now. Airships are not super important right now, so that's why I put them at the bottom. Advanced infantry equipment is good as well. 1912. 
Let's do fortification one. You never know if we need more forts. You never know. And next we will get Gebor Ogran. We still gotta deal with these Serbian terrorists. And you know what? There you go. Knight e6. That's a little bit too much for my taste. Four, pull you off. Put you guys right here and probably begin a new army. Under Eduard von Bohm Ermoli, because you sound Italian. Thank you. You can kill off some Italian guys if you would like to do so. We have just. Hopefully. Oh, not there. Not there. There you go. Now we should get a little bit more naval ac army XP. Actually, can we hire an advisor? We got some scooter works done. Uh, n yes, I should actually really do that. I really need to do that, but we need more stability first before we go there. Select a national focus with all Deutschen, or we could get another research slot. At this point, the Germans really don't like us. We'll do it anyways, but, hmm. Crush the Serbian terrorists. We can wait. Let's get research slots. So, that's where we're going to end today's episode, my friends. I know we didn't get to war, but we've gone through almost three years of game time, which is not too bad. But I hope you enjoyed it regardless. If you did, consider leaving a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll catch you all tomorrow as we will push up closer and closer to probably what some will call the Great War. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.